Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have a project and there is a story <laughs> about that. About two weeks ago I changed my profile picture on my Facebook. And when I look at my photos that I want to use, I come across my painting that I did about three years ago uh, when I was only a beginner and I was still playing with uh, techniques and everything and I did a kind of ring straight pour and I didn't like it and I did some balloon dips on top and the flowers that came out some of them were amazing for my taste. So I went back to look at my video because I remember that that painting cracked, I didn't like it that time, I just want to keep those uh, <coughs> flowers. <coughs> Sorry. And later that day I had a video call with uh, Mina Vallegas, my dear, dear friend and soulmate obviously um, and we were talking about stencils because she's um, lecturing me about uh, how to use stencils by the way she will teach this on Fluid Art Boutique uh, in October if you want to learn that and she will teach big canvases too and split cups so check her out um, and the Fluid Art Boutique with all the other artists that will be there. Um, so, <laughs> um, a little commercial. Uh, never... I always like to, you know, talk about other artists, friends and everything. So, and we were talking about this and that and she said, you know what I did today? I was looking back on my channel and I really like that painting that I did uh, and I decided to try to recreate it, it and I was like what? On the same day we were thinking about the same thing. So we are soulmates. <laughs> um, and we decided to do a mini collab that's why you see this premiere today and after me will be Mina's premiere because we were talking about it would be fun to try some things with the knowledge that we have now. Maybe the painting will come out nicer, maybe worse because maybe we were more like, you know, what the heck, we just play with paint and now we are, that we know more, we have more vision or whatever, I don't know. But it was an interesting idea, so please check, I will put the link in, in cards and in the description box for the video that I did three years ago. And hopefully this will turn out better, maybe not, but it will be interesting to see. And I want to invite you to go back on my channel, on my older or oldest videos. And if you like some, please tell me in the comments and I will choose some and I will try to recreate it now with this knowledge that I have after four years of fluid art. So I believe that this will be an interesting thing because I don't know. Tell me. If you you are willing to, please go check my oldest, oldest videos and tell me which one you want me to recreate. So this mini collab starts now that I stop talking. So what I saw on that uh, video that I had a tiny coat of black on my canvas and I'm working on 16 by 50 inch canvas I have a ton of air bubbles this torch doesn't work um, I don't know maybe 
maybe this made a difference, we will see. So I did the same. I put just a little bit of my black on the canvas and I will pour my paints into this cup. No, there is no ounces. They are just, it will be half a liter of paint. So I will start with Naples Yellow Light. And I don't know which brands I used that time. I don't know which pouring medium I used. This is Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow. Ochre gold, cadmium orange, vermilion, uh, this is carmine dip, and I did another layer of yellows, just yellows. I don't know why. Let's do the same. Maybe this will turn out a total fail. Orange and red. And at the end I did add green gold. I don't know why. Let's see. So that's how I did it that time and I will do just a straight pour. So let me bring this more and when I look back on those videos I'm still not, you know, uh, I still have uh, problems with technology. I'm not anyhow uh, good at that but it looks much better than it does at that time <laughs> so let me just see okay and I will do just kind of a straight pour like I did then and I did pour it Low. I did pour some black around and I think that I need quite some there I don't know and what I did realize is that I had tilted quite a lot so very thin layer of paint were on my canvas 
at the end, so I will not go over the edges yet. Just stretch it first. A little bit. And now I will go over the edge here where my all the weight of the paint is right now. Go to that side. this and to the last corner there I almost drop it because my hands are shaking What I see is that my composition is totally different. I'll just turn it around and try to gloves off. What I realized is that the flower and I did uh, dip with the balloon that I had in these parts with kind of a white was the best so and I was pressing down really hard so the moment of truth I will try to do one. Let's see. Yay! Not as much black that it is on the the original one, but love it. As you know, balloon brings some colors underneath out, and I really like how this looks. like this now so I will do one more here I will go with one more here.
I don't know if I wipe the balloon at that time or I just want to go once more here because I see some black underneath. Maybe it wasn't the best idea. Again! Because I didn't like that black ones on the first dip and I did it again. So ladies and gentlemen, the same mistake that I did the first time I did it again.
worse, worse. Let me pour here again and stretch it. Obviously, I didn't learn much over these four years because I did the same mistakes. Let me try. And I will try to add just maybe one or two. I don't like this part here. So. those lines so let me do one here maybe let's see if something is underneath here I will press hard it is I will call this one down because kind of like this feel of the sun or something I will leave it
because I like it like it is. So let me take you down for a close-up. So here is a close-up. I just leave it like that. I really loved, loved, loved the first few flowers that I did. And then I mess it up again. So obviously I didn't learn much from that day that I did the first one. But at the end, when I did the second uh, straight pour, I didn't do the right order, so I ended up with some weird looking thing here. But when I did this dip, I kind of like it, so I will leave it like it is. Maybe I learned something <laughs> because I did step back um, and I think that it will dry really nice but didn't the flowers that I did. So thanks for watching and let's see if Mina managed to recreate it or learn something from mistakes then. See you on the next one. Bye.